Hello everyone, welcome to the Ichimoku Charts.com daily analysis for the S&P 500 for Wednesday, May 15th, 2013. Well, a continuation of the trend to the upside today and the candle that's made a higher high and a higher low. A very strong follow through today. We've had the close of today's trading close above the previous day's trading and a fair distance away, denoting the buyers being keen. Not as great as the distance from the previous day, so they have lost an amount of keenness, so perhaps some loss of momentum. And uh, we do have a white body candle with the buyers making a decent amount of net bullish progress on the day between the open and the close but comparing that to the previous day's trading there has been a contraction of the size of the white body and that also suggests that even though uh, the buyers are supporting this trend there was some uh, what of a loss of momentum but not too great a loss to have us really worry about a potential change of trend but it does suggest that there could be a possibility of some selling coming in but no confirmation of that at the moment. The market has closed up at the highs, uh, just off the highs actually, uh, so the buyers have closed with fairly strong control of this market and they've been fairly strongly committed to taking this trend higher. The high of this uh, current candle is a fair way away above the high of the previous candle. Now in terms of the Fibonacci extension and the market has made a good decent move uh, uh, to test the 423.6% level that was at 1666 the high today traded to 1661 so a good possibility that market will test to around that level and we do need to watch how the market reacts around that level there is a possibility of a potential retracement around there the market is looking a little bit overextended and let's watch how the market reacts there if we do see the buyers uh, becoming weaker or some uh, the sellers becoming a bit stronger then th that will suggest potential for a change of trend and this has been quite a strong trend. If we look at it for now, for the past almost three weeks or so, this market has been in, an, an, in a first time frame uptrend, and it's not usual for that to occur. Um, as we know, markets will move in cycles of uptrend and downtrend. And obviously, in a second time frame uptrend, the downtrends tend to be smaller than the first time frame uptrend. So uh, at the moment, uh, possibility the market may be overextended and the interaction with the 423.6% level is crucial. In terms of the Fibonacci retracement, and we're in an expansive mode of that, and uh, if we look at the um, magnitude of this first time frame uptrend to the uh, previous downtrend that we're retracing, it's 423.6% uh, of that move and that does suggest a market that is looking a little bit overextended. The thing here is, as I've already mentioned, that we don't see any selling coming in. and We don't see any major weakness from the buyers, only somewhat of a small loss of momentum and a market where the buyers have maintained control and a bullish breakout above that 423.6% level and this suggests that there is a possibility of the market trading up to that that 685.4% level which is at 1692. Um, whether we make it up there is debatable or not. It's very rare that markets do test to those levels uh, but uh, no evidence that uh, this market will come off at the moment. Now in terms of Ichimoku obviously a bullish market in all three time frames. The market's trading up above the cloud so we have a bullish market in the uh, long term time frame and if we look at the cloud it, the distance away from it the market is looking a little bit overextended uh, the thing that might save this market for the next few days is that the uh, the cloud is a dynamic area of uh, equilibrium and it will be moving up in the same direction as price action and moving uh, substantially higher so uh, that means that the uh, price action will be actually be closer to equilibrium if we stay in the same area um, over the next uh, couple of days. So uh, a possibility that uh, we could see this uh, um, first time frame uptrend extended or even just some sort of a congestion. In terms of the other indicators, the Kijin Sen is the pink line here and uh, the market's trading well up above there so the market is bullish in the medium term time frame beginning to look a little bit overextended in the distance away from that and also trading up above the Tenkan Sen the green line so the market is bullish in the uh, fast term time frame so bullish in all three time frames and the span is above the corresponding price action so uh, it is confirming all of this bullish activity that we are seeing in this market Looking at the uh, angle of these two lines, the Kijinsen and the Tenkinsen, they're both pointing up very sharply, reflecting this very solid upside momentum that we've seen for the past month or so in this market.
Now, uh, the angle of this Tekken Sen is very, very uh, sharp, and uh, very often when price action comes off, that tends to be an area where the market finds very, very strong support. So we now have a level that should offer this market strong support if the market does come off, and that's at 16.29. So very, very solid support there, and that coincides with this small congestion area, and just above that previous uh, uh, short-term level of support around that 16.23, 16.24, level. So overall a, a bullish market in all three time frames. Uh, we have the buyers still maintaining control, the buyers are still keen, but some evidence of a small loss of momentum, but really nothing too much to worry about. We are interacting with some uh, Fibonacci levels and uh, or we will interact with the 1666 level uh, soon if this market does continue in the trend to the upside. We do need to watch how the market reacts around there. Uh, if we do see selling coming in we could see a retracement or a partial retracement of this first time frame uptrend and that would be most likely and most likely at the moment now down to around this 1629-1630 level but uh, the buyers are supporting this move, no strength from the sellers.